Sri Lanka is fast becoming a hugely popular island to visit, thanks to its beautiful beaches, fascinating culture, mesmerizing landscapes and welcoming people. But when is the best time to go? The island of Sri Lanka might be small, but its weather patterns are actually quite complex. The coasts might be only hours apart by car, but each experience quite different weather systems. One thing it mainly is, is warm, and it is the rainfall which largely governs your decision to visit, with a country experiencing two separate monsoons. The best part of that is that usually there is somewhere in Sri Lanka that is dry at any time of the year. So the best time to go might just be intertwined with where you want to go. One of the most popular regions to visit in Sri Lanka is the west and southwest coastal areas. Here you will find the tropical capital of Colombo, the historic town of Gaul, and the beaches of Unuatuna, Negombo, and Bentota. This region is ideal to visit from December through to March, when it is dry and average temperatures are in the high 20s and low 30s. The hill country is also best explored during this time, when towns like Neuralia are a moderate 20 degrees during the day. And the cultural capital of Kandy is also ideal during this part of the year, with little rain and a lovely 30 degree average temperature. If you are keen for some wildlife viewing, then head to Yala National Park, February to June, when water reserves are at their lowest and more animals are out and about. April through to September is when the east coast and southeast coast experiences its dry season, and the beaches of Trincomalee and Tangal are ideal. The plantations of the tea country are kept lush at this time of year by the rains, and Yala is also much wetter when the rains fall from May to August. The west and southwest coast experiences its monsoon during this time, and Gaul, Colombo and the beaches are at their wettest April to June. But temperatures are still extremely pleasant, between 26 and 30 degrees, and lots can be done between showers. July and August are hugely popular months to head to Kandy for the Perihara Festival, which lasts for 10 days in honour of the Sacred Tooth. The festivities are well worth visiting. And the Cultural Triangle is also at its best this time of year, with the ancient cities, landmarks and temples dry and hot May to September. So, Sri Lanka offers something for every traveller at any time of the year, and a trip around Sri Lanka will reward all visitors with a wonderful range of experiences. When will you go?